That's Carolyn Dolhide quickly walking to her bench. Why? Because after dropping the first set 6-3, she breaks on Jabir to start the second set. And do we have an upset alert? Mayday, mayday, do we have an upset alert? Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. It's like a complete 180, day and night from the first to second set. Dolhide now winning 70% of her first serves, getting nearly 80% of her first balls in play. Four break point opportunities on Anj Jabur, and Anj Jabur only winning 67% of her second serves and her first serves, rather. What is going on here? Her numbers down, set over set. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to hit the panic button just yet. Anj Jabur is the most skilled player on tour. But Dolhide, listen, guys, the clay courts here, in Charleston, South Carolina, they're faster than the traditional brown dirt that you see in Europe, in Spain. Yes, guys, I don't know if it's an advantage for the Americans, but right now, Dolhide is definitely showing that she can hang with Anja Burr. Anja Burr can mix it up anytime she can hit you with a drop shot or a slice, and she has power. She's one of the smaller players on tour, but she does pack a powerful punch. However, Dolhide, ladies and gentlemen, the last three game she is dominating the points and this this concerns me a little bit because Dolhide's being a lot more aggressive she's stepping up going for the winners and Anja Burr seems a little too relaxed out there uh, I don't know if she she's taking Dolhide for granted here after winning the first set so easily putting on a show the crowd cheering loud but right now Dolhide gets the break and she holds he's up three love can Dolhide force a third set, or is Anz going to stop slacking out there and get down to business? Anz, come on, Anz. You should beat Dolhide in straight sets. But can she?